Welcome back. All right, so we're going to look at Shimon Nemitz today. Right-handed defenseman who will be drafted early. I'm wearing a Seattle jersey because I think that's where he ends up being drafted. We shall see. So he's number four on the consolidated rankings. So that's the average of websites that Elite Prospects, you know, takes, takes note of. Elite Prospects themselves have him at sixth. Uh, the HockeyProspect.com site has him at fourth. And TSN slash Bob McKenzie, they have him at ninth. Now, in the Hockey News, their draft preview right here, uh, they talk about how boring it is to talk about Nemitz. Now, it's not boring because he's bad. It's boring because he's pretty good. And then they've also got a pretty good article here on Yurichek versus Nemitz and who should go first. That's fine. Uh, but anyways, Nemitz is six foot one, 192 pounds, uh, 185, centimeter, 185 centimeters, 87 kilos for those who pay attention in that direction. And so, yeah, Nemitz is likely to be the first defenseman taken in this year's draft. But it could end up being Yurichek. There's the possibility. Yurichek's a physical defenseman more so than Nemitz. And uh, there, there might be a team that decides that that's what they're looking for. But for Nemitz, his strengths, he doesn't have a lot of weaknesses. Mentioned in that, that magazine there. Kind of boring to talk about because he's just really good at everything. Uh, teamwork, puck handling, strength, speed, passing are all seen as his top gifts. But he's he's just a very good all-around defenseman. So he's not going to make people forget Kale McCarr in all likelihood. He's he's not likely to be a, a Thomas Shabbat either in terms of ice time, but a good, solid defenseman. Not NHL ready yet. He will likely need some time to develop. But again, for Seattle, there's no reason to rush. You don't necessarily worry about who's NHL ready and not because for Seattle, they're doing a gradual build. So he's seen as having a good first pass and can skate well with the puck. And... Being pretty poised, pretty good under pressure. Uh, he had some international hockey where he played well. And again, for Slovakia, uh, this is a pretty good draft for Slovakians, right? So Juracek is seen as being more NHL ready. Again, if Seattle was concerned with that, they might look more at Juracek. Maybe if they want that physical side, they'd look more at him. But I think Nemitz is the good, the good safe pick here. Uh, and again, very good. Not a flashy defenseman, but not a lot of weaknesses. So you're going to get a guy who can absolutely make those passes and all that fun stuff and, and likely not make a lot of the mistakes that you sometimes see with young defensemen. So 2021-2022 season playing in Slovakia for HK Nitra, and I apologize for any butchering I'm doing of that. Uh, 39 games, one goal, 25 assists, 26 points. At the World Juniors, the World Juniors that were cut short, uh, two games, one assist for him. And again, I saw him play, and I, I thought he played well. Um, and so we'll see how things work out for him this year, uh, whether or not he does go forth or if he ends up dropping. This draft, again, is seen as being unremarkable in terms of huge superstars, but some pretty safe bets for players who are going to be National Hockey League uh, defensemen and forwards, and this is a pretty safe bet for Seattle. Uh, does a little bit of everything well. And again, for basically for scouts to say, well, our problem is there's not really any weaknesses to talk about. There's not much to talk about in terms of where he's not great in the game. That's a good thing. And so he is seen as being the best, I would say the best player available at four if we see Cooley, Slavkovsky, Wright come off the board in whatever order they do. Uh, Nemitz, who I haven't seen getting that number one consideration like I saw with Cooley and I've seen with Slavkovsky, um, I, I can't see him being a number one pick. Like if, if Montreal decided to draft him first, I, I would think Montreal fans would raise a couple eyebrows. Um, be quite surprising if they did. So my guess is he probably goes fourth, but I'd be interested to know from people out there what you guys think might end up happening with Nemitz. Does he go fourth? Does he go later? Uh, but again, this is likely the first defenseman off the board. Him being over six feet tall. Makes some sense. And and we can have that debate at some point in time too. I may look at that during the summer. <clears throat> teams that have big defenses versus teams that may not. And whether or not the idea that all of your defensemen should be over six feet tall, if that's just certain teams, or does it actually mean you have more success if you have the taller defense? So uh, that's definitely something I can look at over the summer. But for Nemitz, he's over six feet tall. Not a problem there. So I'd be interested to know your thoughts. In the comment section below, as always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. And hey, thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.